this series here. Uh, I'm not really sure how this is going to sound because I'm recording with my phone, but let's do a very quick video touching on two little mechanics regarding the keyboard and the mouse that may improve your lol play. Okay, so the first one is something that I do. Uh, it works on any keyboard that's kind of laid out like this. It will not work on keyboards like laptops where it doesn't have the, uh, I guess, the accented keys. So if it's just flat keys, it's most likely not going to work or it's going to be very hard to do, so it's not going to be worth it. Now, I am holding my phone, so I apologize if it's a little shaky, but um, yeah, so let's go. Uh, the first thing is you take your, well, I guess your pinky finger and this first knuckle that's right there, you're going to use that to press down on the control key. So basically, you know, you're going Q-W-E-R, 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 whatever, you're playing Katarina, you just need to press R. But now let's say you level up an ability and you don't want to have to like move your hand around and hit control or move your mouse around and actually click on the ability to level it up. Or if you're doing something else, say you're spamming uh, to a Z and you want to spam taunt or whatever, I uh, don't want to move your hand around because that's taking your hand off the keyboard. If something happens, you want to be able to quickly respond to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little, I guess, the pad on your pinky finger and you're going to use that to press down on the control key. So say you're doing your F keys, you know, you're uh, cycling through like that and then you want to upgrade your Q, you'll just kind of like press down your hand and then you'll use your pinky to hit Q, so control Q. So that's just a, a little, you know, a fast thing to uh, not have to move your thumb around awkwardly. So just, you know, control Q, control W, control E, and it's the same. So like you're just, you're playing around and then you upgrade an ability. Playing around, upgrade an ability. You want to check what your leg is at or your ping, whatever, you control F. You know, you don't have to move it around awkwardly. You don't have to worry about missing the control and wasting your flash. So that's the first one. Okay, now we'll move over to the numpad for the second one. And this is something you can do, uh, typically you do it with two hands, but I can't actually show you that because I'm holding a phone. So uh, the first thing is, I'm gonna switch hands so it might be shaky, is you wanna be playing with your mouse relatively close to your keyboard. So I actually move my keyboard a little bit over when I play. So my mouse is right next to my keyboard so that I can play around, play, 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 play. Okay, timestamp has to go. Uh, there are two ways to do this. The first one is you lift your hand you know, like you, you just take your hand off the mouse, you hit enter, type in the four digit timestamp, enter again, and your mouse is back in play. I don't really prefer that one because it removes your right hand from play. And if you have to, like if you hit enter and then you're about to get caught, your mouse is out of play and you can't use your keyboard because you have chat open. So that's dangerous um, and it might uh, delay you a little bit from doing a timestamp, which obviously do timestamps when excuse me, uh, do timestamps when you're in safe spots, but if it's more of a clutch situation where you want to record a, a, you know, a heal or a flash or whatever in bot lane, and it's during the laning phase, you don't want to be out of lane for 5-10 seconds, that's way too long, you'll miss a level timing and then they'll get level 6 first and they're just really bad. But what you'll want to do is, okay, so this one, it, I don't know, it might be harder depending on what kind of mouse you have, what kind of hand you have, but what you do is you just, you kind of pincer, between the pad of your thumb and the, I guess, the same pad from your pinky. You just pincer that with your hand, you bring it over, and then you hit enter. That way, if you need to, your mouse is still in play. You're never lifting your hand off your mouse, and you're lifting your mouse up so that you don't, like, I don't know, like, throw your mouse across the screen. So you pick it up, you hit enter, then with your left hand, you just bring this over and you, uh, oops, uh, you bring your hand over and you type in the numpad, uh, four digit timestamp, and then you hit enter again. And, um, you know, what that does is it, you don't have to use the num row because that's awkward to use. You might mess it up. It takes longer. You know, you're just using the numpad and then you're good to go. So that speeds you up and make sure that at least one hand is always in play and that your mouse is not out of play. But typically what I do in just normal casual game is I take my mouse off, enter, four digit timestamp, enter, and then my mouse is back into play. So uh, yeah, so hopefully those help you out. And um, yeah, make sure you check the links in the description. I actually am setting up a Patreon account. So if you like the videos, want to support me, one you get, I don't know, I'm still thinking about what to do for rewards, so it's not live yet, but um, I'll post a link in the description, make sure to follow me if you want to support me, and uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something from it, and thanks for watching.